This is a video for AQA Mechanics, Impulse and Momentum, section 1.4, where we're considering momentum and impulse in two dimensions. Well, in previous videos, we've been considering momentum in a straight line, so in one dimension, and therefore the vector quantity has not really materialized. However, we know that momentum and impulse are both vector quantities. Momentum, m multiplied by velocity, which is a vector. Impulse, force multiplied by time, force is a vector, of course. Or And impulse is change momentum. Remember that when we're in print, that the bold uh, print is used to indicate a vector. If you're writing it by hand, you should always try to remember to underline anything which is a vector. In two dimensions, we can use a column vector or use the unit vectors i and j along the x and the y uh, axes. So, for example, we might have a velocity 3i plus 4j or, as a column vector, the velocity 3, 4. So we're going to consider now just a, a few questions which use the idea of vectors when we're considering these momentum and impulse equations. So the first question, we've got a ball mass 0.5 kilograms, which is stationary, and it's then struck with an impulse of I plus 5J. Well, we know that the impulse is equal to the change in momentum, so that's MV minus MU. And because it's stationary, U is going to be zero. So therefore, we can say that the impulse which writing it as a column vector is 1, 5 is equal to the mass 0 0.5 multiplied by the velocity v and therefore v is given by the vector 2, 10 uh, which is equal to 2i plus 10j If we want to calculate the speed, of course, then that we can get from Pythagoras' theorem. So the speed is just the uh, absolute value of the velocity, which is given by 2 squared plus 10 squared. So that would be equal to square root of 104 meters per second. Well, in the second question, uh, we have the same momentum acting on the ball, but this time it has an initial velocity of 3i minus 2j. It's always worth drawing a diagram of these situations. So, here we have the initial 0.5 kilogram moving 3i minus 2j and an impulse of i plus 5j. So you can see from that the sort of direction of the final velocity that we might expect, remembering that the initial momentum plus the impulse is going to be equal to the final momentum. So we can say that the impulse is equal to mv minus mu and therefore we have that 1 5 is equal to 0 0.5 v minus 0 0.5 and 3 negative 2. Now the easiest way to do that is to multiply by 2 so that we get 2 5 I beg your pardon, 210. And then we're going to add to that 3, negative 2. And that will be equal to V. So that V is given by the vector 5, 8, which is 5i plus 8j. To calculate the speed, then 
that would again be given by Pythagoras's theorem so that's just the square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared which gives us the square root of 89 meters per second and the kinetic energy equal to one half m v squared so that's a half multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 89 and that turns out to be 22.25 joules well, that's the end of this video about uh, impulse and momentum in two dimensions and in the final video of this series we'll be looking at the impulse for variable forces.